is a necessary truth that we need to confront. Um, and it is segueing, you know, piggybacking off of what Z was talking about, what our guest host this evening, Dr. Hema, was talking about. So earlier this week, Michelle Obama admitted that she has been experiencing low grade depression as a result of the quarantine and the pandemic, as a result of the ongoing protests over the summer regarding social injustice, and as a result of this administration. So we're gonna watch a clip of her talking about this a little bit. I know that I am dealing with uh, some form of low grade depression, not just because of the quarantine, but because of the racial strife and just seeing this administration, watching the hypocrisy of it, waking up to how this administration has or has not responded, waking up to yet another uh, story of a black man or a black person somehow being dehumanized or hurt or killed or falsely accused of something. It is exhausting, the vast discomfort with the notion that a black man could be sitting in the highest level of office. We saw that. We saw the signs. We saw the the nooses. And so it resonated and triggered me earlier this week when I saw her make these comments, when I saw the stories about it, because it allowed a little bit of self-reflection. And I think during this pandemic, a lot of us haven't been really, you know, checking in on ourselves. We've been on the go so much, you know, just trying to maintain, make it from day to day that we haven't, or, or checking on other people. We've been checking on our loved ones, our friends, but we haven't been doing any self-evaluation. And so my question to you all in terms of what she's bringing up, what she's talking about in terms of whether it's low grade or how, high grade depression, how are you guys? Like, what do you think about that topic as it relates to the pandemic? Let's start with Z. Uh, so I was uh, sharing with uh, the panel before the podcast started that today was the first day I washed my hair in almost three weeks. <laughs> and for those that know me, my hair is my crown and glory. I mean, you know how we all have that one thing that we don't have to work too hard for? Like, that's my hair. So it's, you know, I love styling it and washing it. And, and I realized, you know, I didn't, I didn't care. Like, I didn't care. For what? For who's going to see me? So that I can socially distance from my husband, so that I can watch CNN and get pissed off and cry again. Like, for what? So, so you know, I don't see anybody at work when I, when I drag my ass in. Oh, I cursed. My first time. <laughs> she did. <laughs> she <laughs> called herself out. <laughs> 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 <Girl, like, laughs> I wouldn't even notice the <laughs> right, right. <laughs> You would have got away with that one. <laughs> That's how depressed I am. I'm telling on myself. <laughs> but you know, but yes, uh, I, I realized I realized recently that I am definitely experiencing a low grade depression. Um exercise, checking in with friends, you know, the usual things that make me happy are just, they're not, they're just not. I, I'm finding myself falling into a pit of hopelessness. Mm. That sounds so dark and I don't mm. mean it to, but I, I almost, you know what it feels like? Like, I feel like I have to get all of my, my, my good times in before November 4th. Yeah. And that, that is keeping me up at night. It's making me sick. It's making me depressed. It's making me overeat and then not eat. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, that's how yeah. I've been. That, that, that's mean, real. To, it's not. Just to quickly piggyback off Z, um, so I'm back to my head wrap again, but it's because you know I have a flood in my building, so I have no water for the second time this week. And so, you know, I wasn't able to wash my hair today. And so in the midst of the pandemic before when we first started the show, I wasn't doing my hair like Z. I, I, I wasn't washing my hair on the regular because I was just so like, I can't deal. I can't deal. And then I'm like, okay, I need to make, you know, a concerted effort to be presentable to my students that I'm Zooming every day and to my gap and to my boys on the show. This is before you came in, Z. My gents on the show and then you came in and then we have guests. Okay, so you need to be presentable. And so it hurt my feelings today that I couldn't 
wash my hair this morning, that I couldn't, you know, do my do. And so I almost wanted, I, I started Neo to call out on the show, but I have no water. I can't flush my toilet. And I think under normal circumstances, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. But with everything else that's mm -hmm. going on with I was just like, and it took Mike Winter. Mike Winter was like, just slow down, take a deep breath and just do it. Um, but so I feel you on the hair thing, you know, for women, especially mm -hmm. for women of color. Mm -hmm. You know, this is, oh, yeah. this is all. And so, yeah. It's so a blessed day. Yeah. It's a wash and go <laughs> day. It's a special day for hair. So I, yeah, I get you. So I, I had a moment. I was just going to say, Z, it, it doesn't sound dark to me. It sounds real. You know, it sounds what it, it's what it's what you're feeling. It's how you are. I mean, it sounds real. It's what people are dealing with. Jam, did you want to jump in? Jam, Jam. Um, so, uh, wow. How are we doing, huh? Um, <laughs> I, I, I mean, we talked about this, I guess, when the first sh the show first started, like personally, um, I still have had more time to spend with my family than I think I've had, especially my kids, than I've had probably in the last six or seven or eight years. Um, so to me, that is one of the most valuable gifts, if you can consider it that, that I've had, like my schedule just was whack. Like day starts early, get the kids in, we're running here, we're running there. So to me, this whole time has been a, a, a blessing where I understand it hasn't been for other people. Um, having said that, as things have gone on, you know, um, my wife and I have tried to, to find things more engaging and redo, redo our lives. Um, and so one of the things that we, we've tried to do to, to, to be different and learn is take up Tai Chi. And so we got this whole Tai Chi in the morning process that we've been, we've been working on and it's exciting. <laughs> And, and I mean, it's, you know, you're like, I can do Kung Fu, you know? And then like, you know, somebody walks up to you, you're like, no, I can't, but I think I can. Um, <laughs> and so that, um, but and that's the real stuff to me. And then I lost my job, like, as you know, um, and I now I found a replacement job. But when we're talking about how much um, unemployment is, I, I know exactly how much unemployment is. <laughs> 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 Um, and enough, so, enough for a two piece and a biscuit. <laughs> you know, I was like, so who's going to get the ramen? Um, and so, uh, like, and, and so, but again, even with that, um, like we've been lucky enough that we've been in a place where I could start planning and be effective, you know, sorry, Nia, I took up your time. Um, but yeah, so I have a lot of feelings about this time, but it's, I'm doing better then I think a lot of people are, and I'm thankful for that. And so I think I have a better understanding for that. Neo, what you got? I'll keep on brief. I mean, I, I see how it affects people around me, and um, I see it's been tough. I mean, the thing that bothers me most or that I struggle with most is the, um, and we talked about it a little earlier, was the social affection. You know, I love, I'm a mm -hmm. person who loves hugs. I do. Mm -hmm. I, I I love hugs. So I mean, I, you know, I, and I think with the kids and everything, and that that's the thing that's I've struggled with the most. You know, I, I will say this show has kind of been my therapy, <laughs> so it's given me some some things to do. It's taken come on, Lizzie, shake it out, shake it yeah, out. Yeah, come, come on, Lizzie. Come on, come on Lizzie. It. Come on. <laughs> Break it down. Break it You're down. a monster. <laughs> so I will say the show's been my therapy. So I, I've been. That's all I've got. So. No, you know what? No, you know, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to Neil for that because that was one of the things that I had said to him earlier that, uh, you know, this show kind of saved me. This show gave me a voice. Wow. Uh, I'm going to cry too. Now you're going to make me cry, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> but no, because, you know, when I found you guys, I had, you know, George Floyd had just been murdered and I had all of this, like, you know, between COVID and everything. It was just like I had so much here. And this show was an outlet. So thank you. Thank you, Neil. Thank you, Lizzie. Thank you, Jam. Thank you, East, for welcoming me. And because this is hard. And we all, we're us. all going to have PTSD. We, we love you. I mean, I think, I, I think you hit the, the nail on the head. Like, I think it's been cathartic in ways, Neo, 
like of course it wasn't wasn't expecting it to be like this not this nonsense for like with all this racial stuff son of a you know like it, <laughs> if there was no other way to, to to express it come on um mike is talking about un unemployment check as a side note being one tenth of his salary mike you you are preaching to the choir baby you are preaching <laughs> to the choir um oh, yeah. but, but uh thing you wanted to say Final, yeah, just one final point in that, and I think, you know, um, Jam may have mentioned it, like, and definitely Michelle Obama mentioned it. Before she talked about this this week, I thought that I was managing well. I, I, I've said repeatedly now, I don't leave my house. So I was social distancing perfectly from everyone, probably with the exception of Mike Winter, because, you know, that's my bestie. He lives around the corner. And, but other than going across the street, I wasn't going anywhere. So I'm just like, okay, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I was keeping myself busy. I was, I've been teaching all summer, you know, so I'm, and then doing the show. So with the addition of that, I was busy all the time, but it didn't occur to me that mentally that I was going into the dark place. It didn't occur to me until last Sunday when I went to the social distancing picnic for my 95 year old family member and I had all of this immense anxiety. Um, it was just, <laughs> I mean, my, my other bestie, the night before she was like, I know you're stressed. I know you're worried about tomorrow. It's just a picnic. You'll be okay. And I had to talk mm -hmm. myself going and it, it took a lot for me to go out there. Um, but then when I got back home, you know, I took two showers, like I was all over the place mentally and then just didn't want to see anyone. And then when Michelle said, you know, I think I'm suffering some type of low grade depression. That's when I'm like, you know what, maybe you are Elizabeth Eleanor and you need to start focusing on that and, you know, addressing that because the way to get out of it is just not to keep yourself busy. That's not changing anything. Mm -hmm. I'm all, I'm at where I feel like I'm borderline agoraphobic. Like, I don't want to leave my house. Like, I, I, I'm just like, you people are infected. Let me stay in here with the cat and we're good. And that's not healthy. That's not healthy at all. Um, you know, and I, you know, like Z was saying, like in terms of appearance, I mean, my God, I hate the way I look now. Hate it. Um, and that's something that I think a lot of people are going oh, going through because we haven't been able to work out. We haven't been able to take walks and get sun. And like, I have a lot of makeup on that. I look tan now, but no, I am, I'm pale ale right now. Um, so it's been a lot. So when Michelle Obama came out with this this week, I'm like, okay, finally, someone is saying what I've been denying, kind yeah. of. Mm -hmm. And I think I needed to hear it. Um, just yeah. kind of like, you know, trying to work out of what, we've been going through. And again, this is just the first phase. We don't know what phase two is going to be. We don't. So right. it's, it's we'll better that we, try to prepare, that we try to prepare ourselves better now for you know what could be possibly coming. Which is another fall. reason it, it pisses me off that these people don't care. I mean, because there are yeah. other side effects to this thing. It's not even just, I mean, there, yeah. there's other health issues to being forced into these situations of trying to keep ourselves safe from COVID while everybody's out partying, spreading it around on willy nilly, not caring. And right. Z, I think you have one more thing you wanted to say. I, I, I know. We you know, it, it's just, <laughs> well, it's, it, it's interesting. It's interesting that Lizzie said that it almost is making her agoraphobic, agoraphobic where I'm almost having, cause you know, I, I, I totally feel you on everything you're feeling. And I'm having almost the opposite uh, reaction where it's like, it's making me want to just go out even more right. like, hell, mm -hmm. the, the world's ending. Yep. You, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> you know, and, and, and like you said, I, I don't think either one is a hundred percent right or healthy or the correct coping mechanism. You know what I mean? So yeah, I think we're all going to be in therapy. Hi. Therapy, if you're, if you're trying to look for something to go into, hey, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That just wiped all the tears oh, away. There you Thank go. You. <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. I think if anybody's looking for something to major in, psychology, psychiatry, <laughs> the world is going to need it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. Well, the good thing is that's it for our hot topics, but stick around because we always end our show with something fun to lighten things up.
So. Where they cheat. They always cheat. Actually, I might get I, I might get in trouble for.